So Lewis King Kong Ortiz stops Charles Martin in the sixth round of their fight on PBC pay per view this Saturday night. I don't know how this fight was pay per view. Like this has got to be one of the worst pay per views in boxing history, in my opinion. And I know that Fox were trying to shill it for forty dollars instead of the usual eighty dollars that they do pay per views for usually. So basically, what they're saying is. We know this fight isn't pay-per-view quality, so you can have it for half price. Like, absolute shambles in my opinion. But to the fight, the fight was a cagey affair for the most part. Both guys respected each other's power. You could tell straight away. Both guys didn't really want to stand in trade with each other. But when they did throw shots, they were thrown with bad intentions. Especially Charles Martin. Like, he was missing... A lot of his big shots, like big winging punches. Luis Ortiz, even though at 42 years old, he is still quite slippery. But in saying that, he was dropped by Charles Martin with a shot to the side of the head. At the end of the first round, it was a legitimate knockdown. You know, it was one of them shots to the temple that just takes your legs away. And at 42 years old, in there tonight, you could tell the legs of Luis Ortiz were 42 years old. And he got caught in the fourth round as well by a stiff, solid jab from Charles Martin. And he went down from that. So, you know, at 42 years old, getting dropped by jabs, it's not really a good sign. And, you know, Charles Martin, he looked okay in there. You know, he was picking his spots. He wasn't doing anything too reckless. He was there trying to, you know, draw Luis Ortiz onto a big punch. And he did manage to do it a couple of times. And Luis Ortiz was doing the same. Like, he was trying to counter Charles Martin, and he caught him with a fantastic shot in the sixth round. You know, the fight was very, very close. I had Charles Martin up because of the knockdowns, but apart from that, both guys landed the same amount of punches, in my opinion, very similar. But he got caught with a fantastic shot from Luis Ortiz, and, you know, it just froze him. Charles Martin, he didn't know what day it was after he got hit by that punch, and... Luis Ortiz is a very good finisher and he jumped all over him. He managed to drop him and Charles Martin, strangely, his glove got trapped in the ropes and the referee had to free him, but he was badly hurt. Like, if the fight got stopped there, then I wouldn't have complained, but the referee gave him the benefit of the doubt. But he could tell he was not going to get out of that round. He was all over the place. Luis Ortiz was landing heavy lever on him and his legs were totally gone. And he was dropped for the second time and... The referee decided to wave it off after that and Charles Martin did dispute it. He was very angry. He went up to Luis Ortiz afterwards. I think he said to him that it was bullshit or something and Luis Ortiz wasn't really happy about that and he like shoved him away and, you know, it got a little bit heated but then Charles Martin showed respect and, you know, both guys showed respect to each other. But, you know, Luis Ortiz, he did manage to pull out the bag. He's still dangerous. He's still got that power, that sneaky power, you know. It looks like that he's not doing much, but then he'll land a big shot and, you know, have the opponent hurt. But at 42 years old, I don't really see him, you know, winning a world heavyweight title. Maybe if you throw him in with somebody like Trevor Bryan, who's a WBA regular champion, but, you know, that's a Mickey Mouse belt. Would he really want to do that? But, you know, against somebody like a Joseph Parker or a Joe Joyce, I just see someone like Luis Ortiz at 42 years old being food. For guys like that, especially somebody like Joe Joyce, someone who's got a fantastic chin, a guy who just comes forward, just got a fantastic engine, a very big man, six foot five, physically strong, hits very hard. And you know, when Luis Ortiz is getting dropped by stiff jabs, then you know, somebody like Joe Joyce would seriously put a beating on him, in my opinion. So at 42 years old, I think the ship has kind of sailed with Luis Ortiz now, even though he did stop Charles Martin tonight. Charles Martin's quit. Um, chin has always been pretty questionable in my opinion so you know it wasn't the biggest surprise that this could happen tonight even though Charles Martin did look good in there you know for the six rounds that he managed to last but you know when somebody like Luis Ortiz at 42 is getting dropped by jabs then you know him against a top 10 contender somebody like a Joseph Parker a Joe Joyce a Philip Hergovic somebody like that you know what I mean who are all trying to get world title shots themselves I don't see it being a happy ending for Luis Ortiz. So, you know, he's got he's going to probably roll on. So at 42 years old, how far can he go? You know, I think he needs to have a big fight next. I think time is not on his side. 
So he needs to have the biggest fights possible, get the most money as possible, and, you know, just ride out into the sunset. So, yeah, Luis Ortiz picks up the win over Charles Martin. But, like I said, the fact that this fight was on pay-per-view is not a good sign, you know, from these networks, because America are doing that a lot at the minute when it comes to their fights. Like, these networks in America, it seems like they're putting everything on pay-per-view. It seems like there's a pay-per-view every week. And if you're a boxing fan in America then it's going to be very pricey to be a boxing fan. So, yeah, that's not a good sign from these um, networks putting fights like this on pay-per-view. It's like, is that the future? You know, the standard fight night fights getting put on pay-per-view. So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. What did you guys think 